YouTube family, it's your girl Mrs. Rains here. I'm back with another video for Vlogmas Day 3. And I wanted to come at you today to show you how I got this manicure on my nails. I actually did this here at home. I did this under probably 15 minutes and really that involved with going and waiting for the paint to dry. But I did this manicure with no acrylic or anything like that. And the reason why is I wanted something inexpensive that I could do while the house is being renovated. So that way I wouldn't be upset about spending too much money on a manicure. This also gets me kind of through the holidays when I'm going to holiday parties or um, hanging out with family. Because most of my family is used to me looking kind of put together. And to be honest, I'm used to me looking put together. So it's been kind of rough these last few months. But I do want to go ahead and keep my manicure up um, whenever I can. This allows me to feel feminine and girly and pretty and not have to worry about chipping a nail doing some home renovations. So what I basically did was I went on ahead to my local beauty supply store and I bought some full nail tips. Um, they're not tips rather, they're full um, faux nails. I don't know what you call them, but they basically are full coverage and I got them already kind of the coffin shape or ballerina cut, whatever you want to call it. And it comes with glue. This pack comes with 100 nails, and you got this entire pack for $7.99 at my local beauty supply. I did find on Amazon you can get a 500 pack of a higher quality nail, and it's only $7.99 as well. So I will be ordering those instead. But I feel like this was a good experience, and I will use these nails, and it allows me to kind of practice on these before I get the higher quality ones. And all I basically did was, the first step was removing all of my dead skin from my cuticles. And I just used a cuticle pusher and a trimmer. Um, this one's by OPI. I'm not sure which this one is from because I have had these things so long, honestly, I couldn't tell you. But it's a really good high quality one that I'm fairly certain I got from a beauty supply store. Um, I also used a fingernail clipper. These again are putridly old, so I couldn't tell you exactly where I got them from. Any fingernail clipper will do. But this is good for trimming the nails down if they're too long for your liking. And then all I basically did was take a piece of tape, like so, and I wrapped it around a cotton swab. This is what a cotton swab looks like. They come in these little containers. And I basically taped it, wrapped the tape around the cotton swab, and I put the nail tip on there. This allows me to paint the nail tip without having to have them on my fingernails and wait for them to dry that way. I mean, because I have things to do around the house, obviously. So all I did was put a few coats of nail polish on here, and then I followed that up with some clear top coat. So the nail color of choice is by OPI. That's what that looks like, and the color is called Pale to the Chief. I found this at Marshalls for $2.99, no, $3.99. Don't sleep on Marshalls, guys. They always have this nail polish at the checkout counter, and it's always really pretty colors. And it's a high-quality polish that would otherwise cost you 9 or 10 bucks. And then I topped it off with this top coat. It's called Double Duty by Sally Hansen, and you can find this pretty much anywhere that Sally Hansen products are sold. And I also used this sweet almond oil. I got this from Marshalls for... $5.99. You can buy whatever oil you want for your um, cuticles, but you want to make sure you moisturize those after you trim them so you don't get splitting or cracking. And then also during the wintertime, I like to use Working Hands by O'Keeffe's. This is really good for a dry, cracked skin, especially if you're like me and you're constantly like doing things that are wet with your hands. And then I also have this pack of Emery boards. I got these from Target, I'm pretty sure, for a few dollars. And I got these in order to file the ends just to make sure they weren't scratchy against my skin. So all I did was after the polish dried, I removed these from the tape. They're pretty easy to remove. You just want to make sure they're fully dry before you take them off because the last thing you want to do is touch your paint finish. But you take them off, you put the glue on, and then you just glue them onto the nail that they go on. You want to hold them down for 10 seconds, of course, but after you do that, you have a really nice finish. It doesn't take very long, and you can go on about your day doing what you got to do, and literally it probably takes you five, five minutes to put them on, ten minutes to get them painted. Um, you can paint them and walk away and do something else, just as long as you put them somewhere where they won't be disturbed. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But that's how I got this manicure. I had most of the stuff already on hand. The main thing that I did have to purchase was this kit with the nail tips in it. And I also had to purchase my sweet almond oil. I regularly purchase some type of nail oil or some type of body oil anyway. 
So I would have gotten this anyway had it not been for doing this um, particular nail manicure. But it is good to have them. I already had the nail polish on hand, all the tools. The emery boards, like I said, cost me a couple of dollars. So if I if I'm narrowing it down to just paying for these two products, I probably spent ten dollars or less to get this manicure. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're enjoying Vlogmas, and I'll see you guys on the next one.